but speaking of the big three, though, we, we got to figure out who the big three is. You say you talked to Drake. I did. You want to see it? Yeah. I want to see that conversation. <laughs> I mean, just so you know that there's, there's no cap in my raps. You know? <laughs> just so you can acknowledge that this was a fully... Hey, by the way, un- hold on, hold on. Conversation. Hold on. Do, do, do you think it's biased, though? We, we got to... You know, no, it's the opposite of bias, because yeah. he's giving credit to Joe, somebody he has issues with. And then yeah. he's like detracting from Vlad, who's somebody that he has no reason to take anything away from. But all the, Vlad did clarify that Drake is like still salty with him about something. No, 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 of course, like yeah, a yeah. million years ago. No, like no, 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 no. Listen, yeah, what's the story the, the, behind the that? Deal? Yeah, that went over your head. So with the whole Israel and like Palestine thing, Vlad oh, was taking okay. aim at the jugular. It's the same reason why Aiden. Remember, he said to Aiden Rose, "How could you sit with Charleston White?" And he said this about but, like but Vlad. Dra- Vlad goes in hard at Vlad that. Vlad said Drake is mad at me from twenty years ago when I had Charlemagne on trashing him, which I believe that I remember that story. He had Charlemagne on. And oh, okay. Th- from like a long time ago, and that's yeah, crazy yeah, yeah, because yeah. you can imagine that he would ne- like. Nowadays, I'm gonna interview somebody and they're gonna trash Drake. And Drake doesn't give a fuck. Like if I keep it on with the guy, sure maybe, but like I don't think he's really. He, like if Drake put out a diss song and he felt like it wasn't, if, if it was perceived poorly, I don't think he would really get on your ass for having that opinion. I think he's had to grow to be more open minded about other people's opinions. Well, well but I that, mean that thing about Charlemagne, that's like ancient history. Well, well, well I, I do think th- there are some things that kind of, um, like you know, him and Joe, they got into it and. Whole because beef. of blog shit. Beef. The blog doesn't even exist anymore. And he's like, and that's the root of why they hate each other. No, no, but but even recently where like he wrote that whole long comment on my, my, my Instagram, right? Right. And it was because <laughs> yeah, basically that. Joe came out and was just like, yo, you're rapping like you're 20. Like you're just hanging out with too many 20 year olds. Mm-hmm. And like that is just like, that's like a hint of which, by the way, I, th- I think that's going to be Kendrick's angle coming at him. Uh, it's like, yo, you're this, you're, you're now older. And you're getting old, yeah. and you're, it's coming off creepy that you're, you're trying to fuck with, like, 20-year-olds. Kendrick is going to watch that video that you made about Drake back in the day that you probably want people to forget, where you basically called Drake some kind of sex pest. What did vid- you? What video? Oh, that yeah, video gone. Gone. Nah, Drake no, that video gone. That video gone. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, oh video. my God. I always, like, thought it was kind of interesting that that video and, like, the wait, content wait, never really video? got that much attention. Nah, I, don't know, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Oh, really? God, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get in with OVO, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't say nothing no, about no, Drake. Drake. Yeah, but you know what? I genuinely though, no, yeah, I, I, I made a bunch of that jokey shit about Drake with the young girls. But then, like over time, I just felt like I ain't really seen any real proof of that. So I'm not really trying to spread that. Right. No, no girl has ever come forth and said that Drake did anything foul with her. No. And they have every reason to want to exploit his clout, given that he has a decent track record, right? I agree. There's a couple little things that look a bit iffy, but it's like, yeah, but, I ain't seen anything substantial. But even that is like, oh, Drake was communicating with this girl when she was younger but yeah, those but girls that, have never said that he was on no, some exactly, weird shit right? exactly but that's the thing people will grab those things and use it against you another time I was just trying to get get some jokes off on Drake but like yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I respect Drake so much more as an artist nowadays and but now that your content is more serious exactly I would never if I, you have like older jokey content it's gonna be viewed as more serious than you meant for it to be if I did a documentary on Drake now I'd be like he's the goat he's Michael Jackson so it's like I have a completely different you know, perspective I, Drake would feel a way if you seen that shit man uh, th- like I'm yeah. telling you, right? He because probably hyped you deleted it if you really did. Yes, no, yes. Sure. I mean, that, no that's, that's unlisted. I think. Like you know, I talked. I talked to Drake about the Joe thing because um, I was very int- like. I, I even said this on Joe's podcast. I said, Joe, like we kind of had the same opinion, sort of, about his album. But I remember the day when your podcast came out. Like I listened to Joe's podcast because, like, he'll he'll say his opinion after I stream the night before, mm-hmm. and you basically said what I what I, what I kind of said about the album. But I threw I threw you into the fire because I posted up on my page like, "Yo, Joe, just." And then Drake sees that because he watches everything on the page and goes crazy at Joe. And then I was like, "Oh shit, he didn't go crazy at me." And I'm like, "All right, cool." And then I I, I could kind of tell there was something there, and I, and I asked Drake. I was like, "Yo." I was like, yo, bro, you know I view you. No, no, there was a there's a little moment that got weird with me and him. Not really weird, but but he was just like, I guess he was just getting like critiqued from everywhere, and he was just like, yo, I don't know if you guys are like being honest with your, your opinions or like you guys are salty for whatever reason. And I remember I had said something. I was just like, yeah, I'm not feeling whatever. And he was just like, yo, it's like yo, act, yo, wait, yo, don't tell me you're mad, cause like, like. When my album came out and I told you I was going to call you, I called Kai and I didn't call you or whatever. Aiden, I didn't call you. And I was like, no. I was like, that really wasn't what it is. I literally told him, like, yo, I really love your music. You should know I'm one of your biggest fans ever, like, beyond even just the business shit I do. 
And I asked him, I was just like, like, are are you like triggered by like, do you feel like you're above critique? Because I thought Joe just critiqued you and I'm critiquing you as well. You got to be able to take, take criticism. And he's like, no, no, I could take criticism as long as it's just music. Mm. It's like a lot of times these guys will just do like specifically with Joe. He's like, yeah, you could say, oh, I'm not feeling this song or this song don't appeal to me. But when you're like, yo, yeah, yeah, this just sounds like, yo, he's hanging out with too many 20 year old girls. This is weird. Like now you're almost kind of you're starting a narrative like I'm like, whatever. And and I could tell that that shit was he he views that differently. Mm. Like he really didn't like that joke. And that's that. why this beef with him and Kendrick and everything hasn't really like boiled over to the point of it feeling like really extreme because most of the disses have been like, your rapping is not that good. I'm a more popping rapper than mm -mm. you. You're a fucking loser, et cetera. Mm -mm. Like not much of it has spilled over into the personal attacks that we all assume Kendrick is gonna be coming with, right? No, I I think it's I think it's opposite. This what is are the I, personal attacks? Okay, no, no. This is how I honestly view it. I think Drake has always took it personal when Kendrick has taken it rap. Mm -hmm. Kendrick drops control, and Kendrick is like, yo, this is just about rap competitiveness. And Drake was confused. He's like, why are you putting my name in a song if you still want to be cool? Mm -hmm. You still, like, you're not going there with me. So he's always been confused on that level, like, Okay, does this guy really want to like like because Drake doesn't do that? Drake's not dissing his friends for like yo like you know what I mean like it, it, it's because he usually has something against you. Right. Every rapper he's ever named or subbed is because he wanted to get that motherfucker for whatever that he fucked his bitch. They had like whatever. He's not just be like yo hey let me hop in the booth. Who should I like try to put in my bars today to go get a rise out of people? So when Kendrick did it, Drake Drake's been like looking at it like what the fuck? Now if if you, did you listen to what he said to Kendrick? He basically He's taking what Kendrick told said, said to him seriously. Mm -hmm. When Kendrick says, "I'm with two T's and I'm snatching chains and tattoos and, and, and burning tattoos and all that shit," Drake really thinks that this nigga wants to like wants real smoke with him. Like mm -hmm. that's why it's like I'm gonna wear all my chains the next time I'm in your city. Like, and, and just just for some you know, I started doing some research behind the scenes. Like, of course Drake's gonna take it there or take it that way because Kendrick. Like, apparently, this guy, 2Ts, is, like, a guy of, like, right. like mutual. And, and there's some street shit behind it. Right. So Drake is actually taking Kendrick's bars as, this ain't just us rapping, bro. Mm. That's a, that's why he's coming with the energy of. But every person, when they go back and forth, has to escalate things. And Drake escalated a little bit by hinting at some of that shit, by hinting at the shit with his girl, whatever. But, like, you can kind of, own, there's only one direction for Kendrick to go with this, which is for him to go overboard going in on Drake's personal life and creating this he'll, he's going to create a caricature of him and he's going to like paint this picture of him as being this old loser. Yo, but Drake has never just rap battle to rap battle. Mm -hmm. Like he's always gone personal. He's yeah. always like him and Meek, yo, like But once you take it there, then Drake's out of big like, you know, he's not nearly as strong because you have almost nothing to go on in terms of Kendrick's personal life, we assume, up to this point, right? You could say you have a bad deal or you gave too much money to the guy who signed you like what, yeah, but, what do you really have to go on like he's I, hinting at it with the baby mama shit yeah I, i'll start disrespecting your loved ones you know yeah shit I, I i could you know i mean i i've always said i didn't even think drake was gonna be this aggressive in 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 this like war or beef um and even then i still think he's trying to control that that area because think about this one of the reasons like all these things don't like him he done fuck some girl that they were dealing with, right? Now, you know, these rappers are not going to really ever come, like, admit that because these are whores. You know what I mean? It's not like, you know, it's not like they're girlfriends. Like, these are girls that's fucking everybody. And then, you know, you kind of like, that's like your, your girl kind of, but not really. Because when she when, when you're in town, she's with you. But when Drake's in town, she's with him. Yeah. You know? Just because everybody's fucking them doesn't mean the feelings can't get hurt. Exactly. Along the way, you know? and, yeah. and that's kind of like. That's a, you pillow talking yeah, about. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of that going on. And literally, Drake could just, like, come out and just be like, yo, that's why I fucked your bitch, like, on some pock shit. Yeah, facts. You know what I mean? But and So he's kind of keeping it super light and and trying not to get that disrespectful. But with Kendrick, if you hear the tone that he talked to Kendrick with, mm -hmm. Metro, disregard, yeah, shut your stupid ass up, mm -hmm. right? The tone he's talking to Kendrick with is a different type of tone we've never seen from Drake. Mm -hmm. Like, he's, like, 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 some of these... Jokes and insults, 
it, it's not even like it, you can tell. I, I I don't like you. Mm. I genuinely don't like you. And I think that's just a different tone. We're gonna see how Kendrick um a- approaches it because I think that Drake this time, the first time in his career, he's he's probably made that pledge to himself that he's down to take it all the way. Mm. Which means in the heights of disrespect and going that way no matter what happens. Now, granted, do I think he's gonna get violent? No. But I do think when he's listening to Kendrick, he's not thinking this is a rap battle. He's thinking this motherfucker doesn't like me. Mm-hmm. This motherfucker thinks I'm a punk, and I'm reacting that way too. If you were coaching Kendrick, you were trying to deliver the death blow to Drake, which I personally feel like Drake has taken like almost no damage throughout this. Like I don't feel like any of this has really hurt his rap career at all or his public image. What, what does Kendrick need to do? He needs to go personal. He needs to do, and it sucks that this is how it works, but if, if, if he has a moment like Pusha T had, then he'll be viewed as the victor. And we all know that Drake doesn't have enough personal life shit to come back with. So it's like, that, that's why I'm kind of surprised to see Drake just sort of like callously like entering into this. Because I feel like it quickly gets taken to a place where he's going to be at a disadvantage. I, I feel like what's mad, yeah, is this, if you look back at the story of Adidon thing, when Pusha ended that track, which that was basically the end of the beef, but when Pusha ended that track, he was like, I'm just getting started, I'm peeling back the layers. Pusha's talking like there was other stuff, and it seemed like Drake backed down. So it's a question, it's like, was there really other stuff, and does Kendrick know it? Hey, I, I think Kendrick better have uh, a huge exposure or he's cooked. Mm. Um, That's where I'm at with it. I got some theories, it, but... It, it, uh, here's the thing, Metro Boomin leaked um, the reference track for Jumbo Tron shit popping. Nobody cared. Yeah. No one cares about We're past right. that. That <laughs> like, was the biggest thing yo, in the fucking world yo, when it was Meek th- talking th- about th- it. Yo, they leaked it. And, and I, that's when I went live, like at two. They like, a couple songs. Yeah, ain't doing shit. Yeah, We've me, all just accepted that at this point, right? Uh, Should have had a ghostwriter. Yeah, like they, they leaked it and it did nothing. And it's like, yeah. wait, we all know that's going to be like, we know Kendrick is going to do it in an artistic. But we heard a bunch of Kendrick reference tracks too. We heard Baby Keem song, like you know. No one cares about that either. Guys. Yeah, nobody. Kendrick can't really like stand on the moral high ground when it comes to writing, right? No, I think he is. Go, he is though. I, you know, I, he has less of a track record. That's where people are gonna. But. People are gonna like you know start like you know dicing onions with it, like and be like, no, nah, well, yeah, Kendrick took some some some, some hooks. But, like, he never took no bars. Like, they're going to do that. I, I just think that conversation is old. I think whatever he has to say to Drake, unless it's a big exposal, we've all heard before. Okay? Hey, you're the white, you're the you're the half white, half black kid that at least in the early part of your life, you didn't seem to identify too much with black culture. And then now you're, like, this guy who's, like, you know, seemingly, like, super black. You're, you wanted to hang with 21 Savage, all that type of shit. Yo, you had a baby by porn. Like, everything he's going to say to Drake I think we've heard it already, even if he packages it in a really dope artistic rollout way, which I think him taking his time, that's what it's going to be. I don't think that even affects the shield of Drake that people are like, oh, shit, look what he said. Mm -hmm. And I think they're testing shit. That's why I think that goes. uh, Oh, hey, I didn't think Metro didn't want to play that card because they're kind of in the coups. They didn't want to play that card at that time. But the only reason they played the card that day is because the the CJ whatever guy, CJ Francis, it comes out that he's exposing Kendrick for ghostwriting. Mm-hmm. So now they're like, fuck, if part of our ammo at Drake is that it's ghostwriting, number one, we got to debunk the shit about Kendrick using the ghostwriter. But the best way to kind of like counteract it, let's actually just drop a reference track of one of his actual hits and it'll change the conversation. And it didn't. So I'm gonna be honest. It has to be like you know. I'm telling you, I think Drake probably has more ammo on Kendrick than Kendrick has on, on Drake. I would agree. Cause it's like at this point, like Pusha T exposed him for having a baby. What's gonna be bigger than that? Hey, let me tell you this. And and you know, I, 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 gay. I, come <laughs> nah, on, bro. Come on. Uh, I don't know. Like, there's gotta be some other good shit Yo, too. I, I hate to share like any like you know. Well, certain parts of the conversations I have with Drake, I try to keep like you know, um, to myself, but. I'll, I'll tell you this. From what he's told me, he's been waiting for this, like, for 10 years. This yeah. is, like, he's been, like, he's watched the pattern. Like, specifically, he told me, he said, yo, I've watched this guy do the same bait and switch every time. Mm-hmm. He drops, like, a verse that people are hyped up about, that people are like, oh, he's coming at you. Mm-hmm. I'm always ready to defend myself. I'm always ready to engage. And then he goes ghost, and nothing happens. He's like, 
I, and he's acknowledged that he's heard about this diss track that's supposedly been in existence for years. So if you know this as Drake, that this guy supposedly has some diss track for you for years, and he's been doing this like, I'm ready to beef. Oh, I'll be back with my next album. You had to get prepared for this moment. And everything and the energy he's gave me was, yo, I'm ready for it. I'm just hoping now is the time. I think that's why you see he's doing a lot on social media too, Drake. Like, like he's doing a, you could tell he wants the showdown to happen now and not for everybody to go back to their corners and reconvene another time. Mm. Like he wants it now. Right. You know what I mean? He doesn't want to like, oh, wait till Kendrick drops his album and you'll hear it. No, no. He wants it now on some Meek versus him shit where he's going to drop Kendrick and then he's going to follow it up. And however it goes song for song is going to be how it goes. So he has to have something on Kendrick. Mm. You see, ASAP Rocky kind of for a few jabs. He did kind of get ignored, but I do feel like the whole like he kind of yo Drake is Rihanna. Teflon now. I'm yeah. telling uh, yo, yo what, what, when but you, Drake diss Rihanna and him like many many times on that album, and then like Rocky finally decides to respond. Like that's kind of weird, right? Like he comes at your baby mama on his album a bunch of times, and you don't have shit to say. And then Kendrick yeah. disses him, and you're like, oh fuck it, I'll get in there. Yeah, yeah everyone yo, everyone crawled out the woodwork to diss Drake that week, man. It was suspicious. Yo, in, in reality, and, and and I'll give everybody some advice here. You know, I call Drake Dranos at this point. Everybody needs to, like, for everybody who's dissed him or is trying to diss him, let me tell you what y'all all are doing wrong, okay? First of all, we don't know why you're mad at the motherfucker. And number two, when you're dissing him, you're still trying to keep it, like, very subliminal, even though everybody knows. If, if motherfucking ASAP had got on that track and said, yo, you can't talk about my bitch when you, when, when you impregnated the, the porn star that I fucked to, like, just in some wild way, <clears throat> and then, like, put the obvious out there, bro. You know why you ran them DNA tests? It's because I could have been the dad, bro. I'm telling you, that's different type of fire to Drake. Like niggas is clowning. Yo, Even the, if there's no truth to it, the, listen. The best, the person who's who's doing the best versus Drake is Ross, and Drake has zero incentive to listen to Ross or to respond to him. Ross has people. Ross is doing to Drake what Drake did to Meek. He's made, yo, he's joking on Drake and turned BBL Drizzy and Champagne Nose Poppy into a thing. Right. And Drake, like, even. I don't even feel like it's a thing. I don't no, feel like anyone gives a no, fuck. No, it's funny. It's, it's kind funny. of yeah, funny, but it's, it's not funny. that funny. It's no, not no, like no. Ross was clowning 50 back in the day. No, no, just it, have it, some yo, it's, no, no it's funny. Hear what I'm saying. What he's saying is funny. Drake is like, like, I thought that was an error by him. Drake went on like a long tirade. It was like, yo. Yo, you live on a slither, it's cheesecake yeah, on Star you. Island. I got it. Like, and you could tell it was just like, bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. When he's like, yo, BBL Drizzy, like, that's just just funny. Yeah, yeah. And, and and that is part of this beef, right? Like, it's, you know, it's the reason why, the it's the reason, yeah, yeah, it's the reason why Drake is like, under the comments today, it was just like, yo, yo, use me as the button as, uh, um, as like, yo, they don't got nothing for me or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So I really think these other guys, number one, if y'all have a problem with Drake, Y'all got to start being disrespectful, man. Like, really. Like, some of these, because I think him and Ross, I don't think that they're, they could be cool again. I think him and Future, I think Future is playing it very interesting. I think Future is like, yo, I'm, I'm getting Metro's back. I probably got a little issue with them. But maybe in two years from now, hmm, it's never direct. know. It's, it's so not direct. Yeah, yeah. Metro shit. can't say shit. He's just a producer. Go make some drums, nigga. You know what I mean? And <laughs> but you call him Metro sexual. Like, you really yeah. jumping in. Obviously, you already had issues with him, but... Metrosexual, like on on your brand's page, just calling him that. Yeah, no, like, that's, that's aggressive. No, no, actually, no, that's uh, I don't, on the DJ Academy TV. I don't run that page. Oh, so yes. somebody else wrote it. Okay. Yeah, that's that's uh, three people. That's Grand. Most of his prize is Grand, mm. and Grand's a goat. Okay. Um, Grand, my the guy who says be shit and another guy. But yeah, um, oh yeah, so they can do whatever. But whatever. Um, I do believe that these guys are going against him. I think Drake did the best thing. It's the first time we've heard Drake name drop this much. Man, fuck this guy. Yo, you a midget. Like, he's calling people out by name. No subliminals. Like, yo, um, ASAP basically just like, bro, you know you beefing with Drake, bro. Mm -hmm. Just say it directly. So I fuck Sophie. Just say it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that would hit harder. The culture would be like, oh, shit. Yo, nigga, you can't talk to me. My baby mom is the billionaires. Yo, you know what a violation you could do? Mm. You can't go. You can't go bank account. Drake is gonna little nigga anybody with bank account for bank account. Mm. He's gonna 
say that he done fucked, he, he helped put you on, he probably did. He gonna say he gave you his hook, probably did. He gonna say he like done fuck some girls at you because Drake is like, I, 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 I've but said he's this. gonna tell Rocky you ain't put out an album in, in, in eight years and your career's matter. over. No, it don't matter. Well, but well, that's what he's gonna say, and that's like it's okay, gonna then, hit hard, right? Because like what, we're, we're not what, holding Rocky to any yo, kind of standard. Yo, yo. Nobody's talking about what Rocky's been doing. Fuck all these years. what he gotta say. You gotta get your shit off. Mm. Once you get your shit off, man, my baby mama billionaire with her third, with her second kid. Nigga, what you got going on? Drake's old I would have just even lied. Go get a DNA test, nigga. Like, mm -hmm. it would have been crap. I'm telling you. No, but I think Drake's trying to convince us that Rihanna's nothing special. Because he's saying her pussy's garbage on that album. At the time, nah, he, nah, he capping about her so much. Though, nah, like, he capping. He capping. At the time, that nigga he was hurt. going crazy. They're trying to kiss that her on stage hurt. and shit. That nigga hurt. I think he doesn't look at her as being as special as we all assume she is. No, no, he does. You think? Hell yeah. 2016, when he was winning all them awards, and like one of the last times he did a Grammy speech, and he was on stage with her. She was like, he's kissing up. Bro, you could tell. Like, he even said, he said, yo, I think Drake is like many of us dudes. Yo, we find that one girl that, you know what I mean, we're like, we're kind of like savoring. Like, yo, we want to have the kids with you. But we're fucking every bitch right now. Like, every bitch is getting the dick. And eventually, I'm going to land with you. And I think Rihanna was just like, I'm like, Riri, like, the fuck are you talking about? Drake would have to be so much less Drake, if he was seriously in a relationship with her, relationships are about compromise, and especially being with somebody who's like just as rich as you are, just let, as famous as you are, let me ask like you this more question. respected possibly by like a lot of people. Like, let me ask you this question: He's gonna get turned into DDG. He's gonna have the female fan mob taking shits on him every single day on Twitter let, if he was really in a relationship. Let, let me ask you this question: what happened to Rocky? Drake, I, 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 I've that's said why this. Rocky stays so quiet. That's what I mean. So he, they, he's he's taking care of any material to work with. Yo, Shout I, out DDG. It's not a diss. Yo. I'm just fascinated by the way that the, the, his girls fan mob has like made it their mission to shit on him. Yo, I've said this about Drake. Is Drake Drake if he's not seen as and that's why when people try to like be like, oh, he's this old guy now, he's dating Lotto's sister and they're trying to make yo, Drake, you can't really could you who's Drake's girlfriend in the last like five years? You can't name one. You know business you fucked. Yeah. Bitches you've seen him with for like a couple of months or a couple of times. But that's one of the reasons I think he's so elusive. Yo, that's the girl you've been posting on your page. You've been doing all this for Valentine's Day, taking her on trips. The moment y'all have a problem and I really don't like you, I flew her out. I fucked her. Now, like, of course you're going to be mad at this guy. You get what I'm saying? Right. Drake, he's never been vulnerable. And I think um, his baby mama was the only thing. And I think I don't know how he did that, th that situation because I haven't seen her put out a statement about him since. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know what she's getting paid. She'd never be like, yo, yeah. Didn't she get that tattoo of him, like, after the baby and after they yes. seemingly stopped fucking with each other? Yeah, bro. I was always fascinated by that. 